Hello, welcome to the office mic. In our video today, I'll be taking out time to tell you what it takes to get your first interview. Probably as a cloud engineer or as a DevOps engineer. If you've not yet subscribed to our channel, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our videos, put comments where necessary, and I'll get back to you with my feedback. So today, I'll be taking out time to briefly share with you what it takes to get your first job as a cloud engineer or as a DevOps engineer. Many people have asked questions on what it takes, how to get themselves ready, how to position themselves rightly for the first interview and probably the first job. I will give you what you need to know today prior to your first job. So there are very key things which you must understand as far as job acquisition is concerned as a DevOps engineer or as a solutions architect or as a cloud engineer, whatever the case might be. And one of those very first important things is for you to have a good resume. Yes, your resume actually gives your employer a very first impression of your personality who you are what skill set you have what probably your hobbies are and maybe the things you love doing as far as professional and non-professional context is concerned so before getting your first job it's very important for you to have a good resume that can outline your skill set the resume basically should give a recruiter the perfect understanding of what it is you know besides having yourself a good resume one of the important things which you should have is a profile on some or most of the job search platforms. In our previous video, we showed some of the sites which you can use to get or to check out the job opportunities. If you've not yet uh, watched the video, you can go to our channel and watch our previous video. You see some of the sites where you can get jobs. And going to those sites, setting up a profile is your next step into getting your first job. I bet you many practitioners, many experts in the industry today started by creating platforms or creating or accounts in some of those sites, some of which are linked in Indeed, Glassdoor, Dice, Upworks, where you can freelance, and a lot more of other prominent sites where you can go there and have your jobs. So once you've had your curriculum vitae, the next important thing to nail your first job is you having an account on one of the job search platforms. Those search platforms gives you the opportunity to see variety of opportunities that may be available for you and opportunities that you can grab and get yourself ready. Now, the third thing which I want to highlight as far as getting your job is concerned or your first job is concerned is you having a mastery of your subject matter in this case having a mastery of devops technologies there are a given number of technologies which every interviewer is looking out for when he's interviewing you for your first position and it's important for you to know those technologies and to nail them and to hit hard on them during your interview take for instance a recruiter asks you can i know more about yourself or tell me about yourself if you've probably worked on a service like I am on Amazon Web Service, if you've worked on a pipeline with Jenkins, creating an automation pipeline with Jenkins, or if you've built clusters and Kubernetes, or if you've done any automation or dockerization or containerization of any application, about yourself is basically telling your recruiter in two minutes or maximum of five minutes the skill sets you have, what you've done. So very briefly, you can tell the recruiter, hi, I'm Mike, I'm a solutions architect, or I'm a DevOps engineer with two years of experience or with five years of experience. In my DevOps journey, I've been able to configure services on Amazon Web Service. I've created user access management system service related. I've equally created and provisioned EC2 instances on Amazon Web Service. I've stored data, migrated data across Amazon Web Service. I've equally built pipelines with Jenkins, with GitHub as my source code management system. And I've equally done artifactory using Nexus and code building with Marvin and code testing with Sonacube and I've equally monitored my environment with Prometheus and with Grafana. So giving your interviewer a very snappy understanding of your skill set is very important in learning your first job. In our next video, we'll take our time to give you a roadmap to the skill set which every DevOps engineer must have. And that roadmap in itself is what will guide you during your interview because you must mention all these technologies and at least a use case of using some of those technologies. So that's just a very brief of some of the skills or some of the things you need to nail your first interview. In our subsequent videos, we'll take our time to touch on other areas, what your curriculum you should have, how to position your address, how to position your skill set, how to position your hobbies, your past experience, and how to make a recruiter have a very good understanding of who you are and how you can be an added advantage to their team. If you've not yet subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you have any area you want me to cover in the video, make sure you leave that in the comment section and I'll take our time to make a video to clear your doubts. Thank you and see you.